Helium is a word you've heard before. You probably learned about it in your high school chemistry class and recognize it as the gas that makes balloons float and causes funny voices when you inhale it. However, in the world of wireless connectivity, helium now has a new meaning. Stay tuned to find out more. The Helium Network, named after the company Helium, which was founded in 2013, is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer wireless network. Because it's peer-to-peer -peer and relies on hotspots owned by individual users for its connectivity, the Helium Network is also known as the People's Network. The idea behind the Helium Network is to have a cheap, secure way for low-power IoT devices to send and receive data. The IoT devices this is intended for don't need to send a huge amount of data, and thus they really don't need a lot of power, and the cheaper the cost to do this, the better. Again, it is very important to point out that the Helium network is for low amounts of data. It is not intended for things like internet browsing or streaming movies. So no, you can't connect your phone or computer to a Helium hotspot. Instead, think of things like sensors and GPS trackers. When it comes to wireless connectivity, other options do exist, most notably cellular and Wi-Fi. So why do we need a new one? Two very big issues are availability and pricing. First, Helium uses LoRaWAN connectivity. LoRa is known for long range connections, going 200 times further than standard Wi-Fi. LoRa is also known for low power, meaning it's able to connect and transfer data at a fraction of the power consumption of cellular, which in turn means a lower cost. Speaking of cost, the Helium network does have a drastically lower cost than Wi-Fi and cellular, not only due to less power consumption, but also due to the infrastructure. Other wireless networks require costly infrastructure, such as antennas and towers, to not only set up, but to maintain as well. Helium runs on individual hotspots owned by people, so all that costly infrastructure isn't needed because you are the one setting up the infrastructure through your hotspot. The people then get paid to do this via Helium's own cryptocurrency. We will not be discussing the details of Helium cryptocurrency and mining in this video, but there are many great resources available that'll give you more information about that. So be sure to check some of those out. The next big benefit of the Helium network is that it is decentralized. This is a publicly owned open source network, and thus there are much less barriers to entry for businesses and developers producing IoT devices. For security, the Helium network is backed by the security of the Helium blockchain. All right, so now we know what the Helium network is and what the reason is for it, but what is this good for? So as you now know, Helium uses LoRa, and LoRa is an alternative to cellular networks, most notably CAT-M and NB-IoT. All three are generally used for transferring low amounts of data, but because LoRa uses less power than those two cellular networks, it's gaining much more traction nowadays in agricultural, industrial, and commercial IoT applications. Basically, industries and settings that need to send very small tidbits of information while still being plentiful in range and cheap in price. Examples of these applications include things like soil sensors in farms, tracking the water level of bottles and water coolers, environmental sensors, weather trackers, smart pet collars, smoke detectors, and bicycle trackers, to name a few. It's also becoming more popular in universities and colleges, as well as smart cities and smart buildings. For more information about the Helium network, the Helium blockchain, and Helium documentation, be sure to check out the resources in the description below. As the adoption of IoT devices and LoRa continues to grow, you will need a source for LoRa components. But not just any components, 
but the latest LoRa technology from the most popular suppliers. Fortunately for you, Symmetry Electronics is a member of the LoRa Alliance. That means we have all your LoRa needs and our engineers offer the support you need to help get your LoRa design up and running smoothly. So be sure to contact us today.